Um, so these are two about uh, the founders in Christianity. So one is which founded founding fathers were not Christians. And I guess the question is, what do you mean by Christians there? But all of them by the conventional definition. And what's the best argument against America as a Christian nation? I guess the two are related. Um, yeah, I don't think many of the founding fathers were conventional in regard to religion and all the major ones that you, I mean, Franklin or Jefferson or Madison. Um, uh, I'm less familiar with Adams and his sort of religious views. Um, but yeah, they're not conventional Christians. Most, I think it's right to think of them as deists. And that is, deism is a way more rational perspective yeah. because it's, it's that you need some kind of, I think it's all wrong, but it's the view that you need some kind of cause to, for the world and maybe life on the world, some, something like that. But it's a cause. It's not an object that you owe obedience to. Um, it's not giving you commandments and so on. And that, I think, is much more the view. It's certainly the view emerging out of the Enlightenment. And then if you get... Well, the arguments for this kind of first cause don't work. They're not right. Then it's, so it's, this is religion. It's part of what it means to say religion is on its way out. We're taking all the supernatural out. So it has to be causal in a natural sense. We're taking all the supernatural, another dimension that's in control of this, well, that's out. And then it's, yeah, there's not really a reason to posit this cause. It's a, and it, it's, so it, it's waning and then would be eliminated. And some people think Jefferson, for instance, is an atheist. But, but has to spout some kinds of views. Yeah, Plus, I, I, I read a book that's, that was arguing that a lot of the intellectuals at the time, or some of the intellectuals, were very influenced by Spinoza, for example, who was almost an atheist, or yeah. maybe an atheist, and, and that they were much more secular than what they led to believe publicly because, because of the kind of environment against people who were not religious at all. But, but, but so there was a, a vibrant intellectual movement that the founders were part of that was far less religious than yeah. even their public stance would, would suggest. Yeah, I think that is probably right. Um, but really, the more important question is, were they cr creating a nation in the form of government that is religious in any sense? And I think there the answer is definitely no. Um, so whatever their personal view about religion, so should religion be what shapes the state and shapes government? The answer is adamantly no, it should not be. Um, and I mean, they're not separating church and state because they think, well, somehow in the background, church is going to run the state. And so it's we don't need religion and we don't want religion. It will be destructive if it gets its hands on power. Um, so the whole view of the where the principles of proper government come from, it's all secular and natural. And the Declaration of Independence, yes, and nature's God, but that's the kind of deist view. Well, maybe something got nature started, but the, all the principles would still apply even if this wasn't something got nature started. Nature was here all the time, it, which is, I think, the proper view. It, all the principles would still apply. So in that sense, it's secular um, and it's so anti-Christian. Yeah, none of these principles are in the Old Testament or the New Testament or anywhere else. I mean, that you, you have a right to life, which means your life, not your servant to everybody else. You have a right to liberty, which means to think for yourself, not to follow commands. And you have a right to property. You're not the custodian of the earth for every next generation or whatever, you have a right to build and, and create and then earn the property and consume it. Yep. And then you have a right to the pursuit of happiness. I think um, uh, Dr. Peacock, Leonard Peacock once put it that like this is was a deliberate slap in the face of Christians and religion. And I think that's right. I mean, it's you have a right to the pursuit of happiness, not to throw your life away. In this world. Yeah. In this <laughs> world. Not in, because they always say, oh, you know, we're going to be happy in another world. That, that's, you know, they are rejecting that. They're saying, no, you have a right to pursue happiness right here, right now. Um, all right, let's I see. I mean, a Harvard 
that would be preaching American ideas more specifically, reason, individualism, capitalism. If an institution of the intellectual prestige, which they don't deserve today, but they deserved it at one time, of Harvard, if an institution of that magnitude were preaching the proper ideas, that is the ideas on which America originally was based, or to say it briefly, the philosophy of Aristotle, which was the father of this country, who was. Uh, if they were doing that, you could have the biggest renaissance in the world, still not too late even now. You could have a better renaissance than the first one. This country would come back to life. But today, when all those institutions from Harvard on down are preaching collectivism, mysticism, and above all, altruism, self-sacrifice of yourself, the giving up, the resignation, this, all the disgusting kind of ideas that the whole world has been nurturing for centuries, when they do that, this country can survive. Can you see the super chat? And I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to iranbookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com Iran Book Show and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...